People living in the Bay Area who are from Nepal have been frantically trying to get a hold of their friends and family. Mark Kelly talked to a family who says communication hasn't been easy. And understandably, and many phone lines there have been down, but at times the internet has been working. And for one else, Bronte family, that's how they know their loved ones in Nepal are still alive. And thank God there's still Wi-Fi. The quake hits. Afraid her family in Nepal could be hurt, Monsoon Pandey turned to Facebook to find her cousin. She said it was nothing like she's ever experienced before. It was something right off of the movies or something. It was like a post-apocalyptic movie that she experienced. Facebook launched this special site, a survivor's database of sorts. People in Nepal can click this button to let loved ones around the world know that they're okay. We were glad that they were okay, but then we started seeing how all the houses and the temples, like the mo most important essence of Nepal was being destroyed, so that was really heartbreaking. Devout Hindus, the Pandey family turned to their religion for strength. The candles at the prayer table will stay lit all day. We need the support, strong support. Anil Pandey is an honorary tourism ambassador for his home country. There's concern that this quake and the deadly avalanches it spawned on Mount Everest will scare hikers and tourists away, sending Nepal's economy into a downward spiral. But if you yeah. go to Nepal, that is a support too. So I would like to, I mean, humbly request as a tourism ambassador, the whole world people at least donate or visit Nepal. Tonight, more than 7,000 miles from Nepal. But for the Pandies, the hurt is very close to home. It's a good country. It's going to take a long time to recover. Uh, the Pandies tell me their family isn't allowed to go back into their home in Nepal. It's just not safe in case there is another big jolt. So, Anne, many sleeping outside tonight in tents. Yeah, clearly you can tell from their emotions that they're concerned about their families and not really sure what they can do from here. And really, one of the big things that they want in this area is some sort of community resource center, an area where people in this community that are suffering, that are mourning, could have a time to get together and go through this together. All right. Mark, thank you very sure. much. Thank you.